Hey everyone, today we're going to take our Ally or Ally X drivers from the 7840 and return them back to stock. Right now I'm running the 7840 drivers and I'm going to go back to stock just to show you how to do this. Make sure that you watch the entire video because there are steps that you may miss here that are going to make it so it's not going to install properly. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the drivers that we're actually going to install. So just Google search ROG Ally X drivers, click one of the first links here and it's going to take you to their drivers and tool page. From here, you just want to scroll all the way down until you see the graphics drivers, and then you just simply have to click the download button to get them downloaded. Once they're downloaded, we're not going to install it yet because there are other steps that we have to take first to get it ready so that they'll actually be able to install. So go ahead and just leave that downloading. You don't need to watch it while it's downloading. You can move on to the next step. The next thing that you want to do is Google search DDU driver uninstaller, and we're going to download that program to get it so that we can actually install the drivers. So you can see it's the first link for me here so click on that link I can link it down in the description and then when you get to the page just scroll down and click whichever download mirror is closest to you so for me I'm going to click on the USA now that it's finished downloading we're going to go to our downloads folder and you just need to extract it right now it comes in a zipped folder you can extract this with what Windows has built in or you could use 7-zip it doesn't really matter in this case now you want to go into the folder that you extracted and we're going to run the application here to unzip it. So we're going to click extract and that's going to extract yet another folder. Now we can go into there and we're actually going to run the program now. You're going to get a pop up to confirm that you want to open it. So just click yes. And then once the program actually opens up, you'll probably get a warning about going into safe mode or if it's the first time you've opened it, you're going to get a message saying it's the first time you've opened it. What this program is going to do is it's actually going to uninstall the drivers that we had previously installed, the 7840 ones, and we basically remove all components of it. What you want to do next is go to the right and you want to click GPU and it's going to auto detect the AMD drivers. Then you just want to click clean and restart. This process should take maybe two minutes. If it gets hung up, there's a chance that you may have a Windows driver that's pending install. So make sure you take care of that first before you jump into this. Otherwise, it's just going to run through the process. And once it's completed, it's going to automatically reboot your system. Once you reboot your device, your drivers should have been uninstalled. To verify this, we can go to Device Manager and just verify. So what we're going to do is open that up and go to Display Adapters, and you should see Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. Now we can head back to our Downloads folder, and we're going to install the driver pack that we had downloaded from ASUS's website. The install process should be fairly straightforward. You just need to double click on the app and it's gonna go through a series of prompts. You'll see the screen flashing. It might like rotate weirdly. So just click okay and then next and let it do its thing. It's gonna go through the process and it shouldn't take very long, maybe a couple of minutes. Once it finishes, it's gonna prompt you to reboot the system. So click on reboot and then press okay to let it reboot the system. Once your device finishes rebooting, you should be back to the stock drivers, but to double check that, we're gonna open up the AMD app. This is back now to the original AMD app that comes with the ROG Ally. And we see that it thinks this is the first time we've opened it, so that's a good sign that everything worked out. And you can see that the drivers are the same as the ones that are matched on the ASUS website. Another way to verify that everything went through smoothly is we're going to go to our device manager again and we're just going to make sure that it does not say Microsoft Basic Display Adapter. But instead it should say AMD Radeon Graphics so you can see that it's here, looks like everything went through. And the last step that I'd recommend is to run a game just to make sure that it's actually running perfectly. I'm going to boot up Starfield just to verify. One thing to note though is your device is going to end up recompiling any shaders that it has to do if a game requires that. So just keep in mind that when you're jumping between drivers, it's going to need to do that. And now you can see the game running. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine. So I think everything went down without a hitch. Hopefully this video was able to help you get back to the stock drivers. If you were actually looking for the opposite and wanted to go to the 7840 drivers, check out this video next. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.